Well, first of all, look, let's look at the benefits of GLP-1 drugs. These are injectable drugs. You inject once a week and they stop hunger. Now, that's great news because if you stop hunger by reducing your calorie intake, you activate the master switch of your metabolism that basically now reprograms the metabolism in each of your 30 trillion cells to work more effectively. What does that mean for you? You lose body fat. You'll be able to treat chronic disease more effectively, chronic disease especially associated with inflammation. However, drugs are drugs, which means they have side effects. And the side effects of these GPL-1 drugs are significant. And they're primarily in the GI tract. And this is why about half the people who start using these drugs to lose weight or to treat chronic disease stop after two years. The side effects are severe enough as saying it's not worth it. Now, that being said, how does now metabolic engineering compare to these drugs? Well, like these GLP-1 drugs, metabolic engineering is able to stop hunger, not by a drug, but using your diet as if it were a drug. But there's more, because now metabolic engineering also contains the omega-3 fatty acids needed to reduce that inflammation, that silent inflammation below the perception of pain that really causes chronic disease. This is why the GLP drugs cannot do that. And metabolic engineering also contains polyphenols. These are the chemicals that give fruits and vegetables their color, but they're important in reducing oxidative stress, and that helps in to repair a damaged tissue. Oh, and there's no side effects because it's purely a dietary program. So with GLP-1 drugs, you get one-third of the benefits of metabolic engineering, appetite suppression, with lots of side effects, with metabolic engineering, you get appetite suppression, you get reduction of inflammation, and repair of damaged tissue with no side effects. Hmm, which of the two would be most applicable for a lifetime use? Call me crazy, but I think it'd be metabolic engineering.